hello hello it's raining uh, i'm on the left bank at school i'm uh, teaching english now as a volunteer i'm gonna come maybe twice a week and help with this uh english school but let's go inside because it's raining i'm actually not sure where the entrance is it could even be that because i hear like kids screaming there this means the shelter i don't think this existed before russia started bombing in uh 2022 but now you can see it everywhere you know in uh kharkiv all the school classrooms now are underground but luckily i guess in kiev it's still relatively safe enough to be above ground this looks like it might be a gymnasium actually so I'm not sure if this is where the school is yeah school number 125. security just needs to put me in that's a cool place. Oh, this is nice. Nuts, 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 nuts. Cruz, over here is head nuts. So my first class went really well. I didn't take any photos uh, or film anything. I was just busy teaching, but kind of what meant between this and this. one is two. That is fact number one of today. Who can tell me what two plus two is? Who's got it? Mm-hmm. All right, that was fun. This school's really nice. I'm really, really happy with the layout, the, the people, the teachers. I wish my school in San Francisco was as good as this. Like. Everybody knows each other since they are uh, pretty young, like six or something. The, the, cl the classes are the same, so you grow up with the people. It, it just a, it's, it's just a better lay like format, I think. Thank you, dear Kuru. This is 25 grim only, nice. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> See you next time. Such nice kids. <laughs> Alright guys, I just got done teaching uh, my class. Really cool kids. And today they're much younger. They're on 8th grade, so like 13, 14. Alright, back at school. We got four minutes to go upstairs for teaching class, so let's go. Okay. Everybody enjoy the class? Okay. One, two, three. See me. <laughs> okay. Everyone, please try to find a seat. Hey, welcome to my school. <laughs> so it's PE now. The kids in here are playing a little basketball. It looks like a nice gym, actually. Students. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, you like my case. Thank you. Oh, you're so excited to see me. Yes, I, I, I'm What do you think of the class? Hello. You like it? Hello. Good. Okay. Hello. My class or PE? Uh, uh, my class is better? Class? Yeah. What is your class? I don't know. Teaching English, I guess. <laughs> teaching English is very good. Okay, dear queen. Why are you going to us again? It's our English class. Uh, every Monday and Thursday. I'll be here. Every Monday? Yeah. For like how long? Until December. You're happy? Yeah, I'm very, very okay, good. good. Okay, see you in class. Bye-bye. Wow, these kids are so like nice and appreciative that I'm teaching here. It's nice. They are definitely the dream team. All right, this is the student cafeteria. Let's see what they have today. I don't know what time people eat because there's never anything left. Dubai. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. 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 It's delicious.
this actually looks really good. It looks better than the Borsche I had last week. Oh, this is 93 Krivna. Mm. 93 Krivna, that's two dollars and twenty-five cents. It's definitely the cheapest school lunch I've ever had. Probably the same price as the school lunches back in the U.S. Mm. It's actually just like home home cooked food. I feel like this is actually like tasty, healthy, hearty, home-cooked food. And for $2.25, I'd rather have my kids eating this than, you know, whatever they eat. This is what they're feeding us in American schools. Actually, what, what are the school lunches like in the U.S. now? Because when I was in school, they weren't that good. They definitely weren't that healthy. But they were cheap. At least if, if you had like the reduced meal plan, which I was on. Mm. Good. And then you can pick up your other fruit choice. Sometimes it's orange juice, sometimes there are other fruits. So to be fair, most people in Ukraine bring their own lunch, but for those who want to buy something, uh, it's pretty healthy. It tastes like homemade food, not like in the U.S. where most things are fried. Uh, you know, they try to have one fruit, one vegetable, you know, one thing of milk. The, the milk probably isn't necessary. I think that's just big, big dairy trying to sell us milk. Uh, and then the fruit can be like orange juice or like an apple, like a sour apple that no one ate. And then like some fried chicken or pizza. Uh, I hope it's still not like that now. Uh, maybe some schools have changed, but I don't remember school lunches being the best uh, when I grew up. So, hello. Uh, from my school, as you can see, I'm officially a teacher here now in Ukraine. Uh, English class. Uh, not like grammar or anything, but I'm just, and I'm not getting paid. Uh, I guess I'll explain a little bit more later, <laughs> but I'm teaching three classes a week uh, as a volunteer. They wanted, they were looking for a native English speaking um, person. And I said, you know what? I'll volunteer, I'll help these kids out. So here we are. And it's been uh, really nice to see what Ukrainian schools are like. If you're curious what the school bathroom looks like, It's uh, pretty classic. There's supposed to be some more modern ones downstairs, but I actually like these are healthy. Actually, the most surprising thing about this bathroom is zero graffiti. Not like no scratch on the wall, no markers. Very different than the public school I went to San Francisco. It's always going to be graffiti in the bathroom. So, so this music uh, is between periods. One thing that's very, very different about schools in Ukraine versus in the U.S. is here, it's basically second grade to 12th grade. Uh, I'll, I'll have to explain that a little bit more later, but basically in one school, this one is a bit smaller. It has it's like 700 kids, but it's all grades from literally like first or second grade all the way. So elementary, middle school, and high school in one school. And the kids stay together the whole time. So everybody knows each other very well. Like they've literally grown up together, almost like a family. Class is about to start. This is what a typical classroom looks like, not mine. I'm over there today. So it's a bit confusing because I teach three classes a week, but there I rotate between classes. So I've only had the same students twice. Uh, and they kind of just want to, I mean, in every class, so all the students have an opportunity to learn with, from me. And it's not that I'm special, it's just there's not that many native English speakers in Ukraine. And this school has a English focus. So for them, uh, I guess it's a good treat. Okay, remember, it's a fruit. 
right? So it's not a burger, it's not a water. So part of my curriculum is I've been playing games with the kids. So this is kind of like Alias, where you think of a topic. Uh, in this case, we were thinking of an item in a supermarket, and kids uh, would raise their hands, ask questions like, you know, is it green? You know, what color is it? Uh, is it fruit? Is it s sweet? Is it salty? And they need to try to guess uh, what we're what he's thinking of. So to be honest, uh, this game sometimes goes really, really well, and kids really enjoy it, they have fun, and sometimes they're just not that into it, it's, it's hard, it's challenging, they kind of tone out, uh, or zone out, and don't participate as much. I think a lot of it happens, has more to do with their level of English, uh, how many kids are in the class, you know, their mood for the day. Uh, it could be anything. Like it really could be uh, many, many different things. Uh, today's class uh, wasn't as excited to play the game as the the previous ones. Uh, so <laughs> it's kind of a bad example to show you guys. Uh, but you know, we still got through it, and hopefully, the kids still learn something. We got to practice at least. It's white and red. Okay. Not fruit. Oh. No, we heard fruit. Okay, so not a fruit. Okay, so not a fruit. That is So I think it was a radish or something like that. But uh, now we change topics to being uh, animals in the zoo. What does it eat? Uh, is that does it eat meat or does it eat? In England, yeah. <laughs> Small things. Insects. Does it have a shell? Alright, so I just got done with this class, and to be honest, this was the hardest one I've had so far. Uh, all the other classes I've had prior with different students, they've always been like really, really excited to learn, just like really happy to uh, practice English and just to talk. And today's class, it felt like it was kind of like pulling teeth, even like the, the games we were playing, which the other kids really loved and just like had fun doing. You know, these kids did it, but they didn't really seem like that interested. They're, language their level of english was a lot, lot lower than the classes as well uh so it was just a hard day to be honest like you know uh, the last two weeks all the other classes i've had i was like oh teaching is easy it's fun you know i would happily do this for free but now after today i'm like you know what it is a job <laughs> it is work so i hope they still appreciate it and still got something out of it but yeah today was uh so definitely not not the easiest one you know, but still, you know, they gotta learn, someone have to teach them, so I'll be back again next week. Hey, so I'm back from school, from teaching. I've actually been teaching for a few weeks now, but I never really talked about it, uh, and I never filmed anything, because I just assumed it wasn't allowed. Uh, but the organization that I've been volunteering through, GlowGlobal.ua, they actually uh, wanted to send a film crew out, or it's not a film guy, a filmer, videographer out to record one of my classes and ask me some questions uh, during one of the lessons, like why I decided to volunteer. Uh, so that's when I realized, uh, actually, <laughs> it's okay, so I asked the teacher. Uh, and I uh, decided to make this video. Uh, I will still be teaching for the next month or two, uh, so if you have any other questions for another update, let me know. But it's been fun so far. Like it's been really exciting. Uh, it's been one of those things where I didn't think my skills as a teacher would, you know, help anybody because I'm not really a teacher. You know, my grammar is not very good. You know, I, I wouldn't be able to help anyone with their spelling. But it turns out they just need someone to have conversational English with them and let them get comfortable talking. You know, I, I think all Ukrainians have started learning English since they're in 
since they were five, since they were like second grade. And a lot of just, them just never really speak it. Ukrainian people know English good? No, <laughs> not really. <laughs> not all. Yeah, so you are speaking very well. But uh, before, I, I didn't meet anyone speaking English very well. So uh, just me being there and playing games with them, like, uh, not, it wasn't Alias, it was called uh, Heads Up by <laughs> Ellen DeGeneres, out of all people. Oh, okay, you're gonna have them. Okay, yep. got it, okay, got it. Yep. So, uh, she's the uh, princess, right? Uh, she's married to the prince of uh, England. Uh, uh, and princess she's, of Wales. Um, uh, and she's what's her name, Kate? Pregnant, yeah. Um, Sorry, I had to say and, uh, uh, Playing these games, just talking, you know, having them share stories was actually very helpful. So, I really enjoyed it, uh, and I hope you got to see little insights on what school uh, is like in Ukraine. Please let me know how different it is than the school you went to, whether it's middle school or high school, uh, how the school lunches differ, because the, the first day the borscht honestly wasn't very good. It didn't have any meat in there, but it was also only 25 grivna, which is like 55 or 60 cents. Uh, and then the second day that I ate there, it had that potatoes with chicken, and that was actually fantastic. I would eat that every day. Uh, the third third day there, I had that um, that grechka, which is kind of like oatmeal with those uh, egg crepes, and that was fantastic as well. So I'm actually going to make sure that I always either go a little bit early or stay a little bit late to have lunch while I'm there because, you know, it's kind of nice. Uh, another update is the... The Trizub uh, has sold, uh, and he's asked me to hang on to it until he comes to Ukraine. But on November 1st, we're going to have a Halloween party, and we're going to be auctioning off this bottle of vodka from Kursk. And all of this, uh, the money from this auction, is going to go to the guy who's been repairing the old Mayfield trucks. Ранку, бажаю здоров'я. Вот Елічка. Ранішній запуск. If anyone wants to remember, this is the very first NAFO truck that we raised money for. This one has a license plate Lada 365 and was damaged in Kursk uh, during one of the uh, missions over there and brought here to uh, Potava where he's fixing it for free. We fixed it for free. So thank you very much uh, for all your work. He's, he's been fi fixing a lot of military trucks, not just uh, our or my, my NAFO truck or our NAFO truck. Um, and I'm really, really excited for this to go back on the front line. The guys, uh, the soldiers actually have already gotten it. They said they're very happy. And we're going to fundraise. $600 this sold for. Uh, all 600 went directly to the NAFO 69th campaign to help buy three more trucks. We are so close to $40,000 already. By the time you see this, if you click the link below, it's probably over $40,000. So we're so close, we're two th thirds of the way there. Uh, basically we have two cars locked up already. So we can deliver two cars, hopefully by uh, the end of the month. And the last car, we really need to get it done before winter. So if anyone wants to donate and chip in just for that last, you know, 20%, uh, you know, $100 gets you one of these patches. Uh, but any amount, you know, $5, $10 just helps us get closer to the goal. And if any big ballers out there want to just ship in more, you can get your name on the side of the truck, you can get your flag, you can get your saying, all these cool things. And if you're in Kiev, uh, come for this auction, as well as some other really, really cool things. Uh, we have some spent shells from Kharkiv that are being delivered right now. So hopefully uh, we get those in time and some other really, really cool things. And the guy who very generously won the auction for 600, he's committed to matching the Kursk option or the uh, Kursk Vodka option to another 600. So whoever bids that is gonna double their money. And as a complete side note, he just randomly asked me how Roman is doing. And I said, oh, he's recovering. You know, I think he's in the hospital in and out. And he just randomly PayPal'd Roman 300 bucks just as a, you know, get well soon, take care of yourself. And Roman really appreciated that. So those are all the updates uh, from Kiev, Ukraine as a school teacher. I never thought I'd be saying that. But um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to answer them in the next video. Till then, uh, take care and uh, yeah, keep learning, guys. <laughs>